Hi there and welcome to your favorite channel's TV program, Entertainment News. I'm Mayawa Ugundeli. It has been something of a busy week and there's so much to share, but let's get things started with the movie premiere of The Voice. The premiere held in Lagos, that's Southwest Nigeria. Come with us. The arrival to the big screens of the Inkiru Silvanus produced The Voice attracted the movie's lead characters fans who have missed her during her five years hiatus and of course celebrity colleagues from the movie industry. It doesn't matter how long you've gone, what matters is how well you've been there where you went to. So she's coming back with a bang. This is a bang. This is wonderful. So she's come back with something tangible, something superb, something great. Kira Sivanos, I know she is like, um, they say she cries a lot and she does her things. She's so emotional. She's passionate about her career, about what she does. And um, she's really done so much for herself. She's done something different. She's really entertained people. The voice also marks a return for veteran actor Larry Briggs, who portrayed the character Jeremiah, a messenger of doom. Larry appeared in an all-black attire which is a reminiscent of his character, creating speculations that he is attending as the character and not himself. You're speaking with Larry Briggs and not Jeremiah. <laughs> die in exactly 90 days. Are you looking for me? My, my time was six hours behind. So, why come to me? Are you an assassin? Jeremiah is a messenger, okay, of the voice. The voice is about um, Atonement, okay, for the life, your past life, okay? It is about a lady, okay, who has to, you know, atone for, you know, some misdeeds she, she did in her past life. And then she was brought back and then um, they, they, a messenger was sent, okay, to reveal certain things to her and what she has to do, okay, to atone for, you know, her past, past deeds in her past life. An assassin who for some reason chose to win you. Why would anybody want to assassinate me? I am not a politician. You will die in exactly 90 days. One day gone. You are on your own. You hear me? But, but they, they said I'm not going to die. You will die, Sandy! You will die! I see life, not death. You are not going to die. He told me you? that all these are signs that I'm going to die. We should be popping champagne. Shooting the movie, which included kidnap scenes, was set back by a real-life kidnapping of the lead characters in Kira Sylvanas and Kenneth Okoli. The real thing is a terrible experience. It's worse than anything you can ever wish your enemy. But the movie thing is exciting because it's the movie you're interpreting a role. So for me, it was fun interpreting that role, but in real life, it was terrible going through that experience. I need you to wear me a check now. Okay, okay. But I, I, I thought you said Monday. Although Okoli played a macho role in the movie, he wasn't tempted to play the hero during their time with their captors. Now, get up! Oh, 
me stunt with like some guys with an AK-47 in front of you. Hell no. Like for real? <laughs> no, you don't do that. You know, so well, but but us, uh, it was not it was not like a pleasant one. You know, it wasn't. But like I said, thank God. Like I mean, he alone has every right to determine who goes and who stays. You know, and that's all. That's the case now, and we're here. He was also quick to love the professionalism of Briggs. Here, this is my card. You don't have to look for me in the streets. I am not. It's a all about the, being a professional, you know. And his composure and this guy, this guy is old school, man. And the way he was just delivering the lines and being a character. Like one minute we're like, you know, drinking and laughing and everything. Next minute, like, you kill. I will. And I'm like, what happened to this? Oh, yeah, okay, sorry, <laughs> you know, is, is, is that good? Hi. <laughs> I am carrying something I'm sure you'd love to see. Back off. No, you back off. He's a friend. Okay, show me. The Voice is a thriller infused with a little bit of romance and is directed by Afe Olumowi. make a sound. I'll let it explode and everybody will die. So just smile. <laughs> Cute smile.